time to unbox Samsung's brand new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G here on MCON Reviews. So here it is. This is the box that the final retail version is going to come in. The Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 20 Ultra and this particular model is the 5G version. The color on this is the Mystic Bronze. Now this year for the Note 20 Ultra series we have essentially three new colors. If you want to check out all the colors and the comparison of the colors I've made a separate video somewhere on the side you can go and check that out. But right now let's show you what you get inside the box. So to begin with we get the actual device here. I'm just going to take that out. Wow, how beautiful is that? Okay, we'll take a closer look at the device in a moment. But as well as that, we're also getting included in the box um, a fast charger. Now, this is slightly different. Here in the UAE, you'll get a fast charger with uh, a three uh, pin adapter. This is the USB-C cable that is going to plug in to aid that fast charging. So that's included as well. And then here we get interesting uh, the AKG wired uh, headphones. And what is interesting this time around is that we also get uh, headphone cable is threaded now. So it's not your standard kind of uh, plastic cable. This is actually threaded. So hopefully that means it should last a lot longer. And you obviously got in-ear um, headphones as well. You're also going to get included the paperwork and also a SIM ejector tool as well. The all-important sticker. Off. And here it is in all its glory. This is the bronze variation color of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So the first thing that you'll notice immediately with this color, which is slightly different from the Mystic White or the Mystic Black, is that you have a matte kind of finish on this particular model. The others are actually glossy, so that's something to be aware of. This has a really, really nice matte finish and I've been asked to kind of describe what this color is I would say that it's not a pink uh, although it might come across that way on camera it's like a let's say a salmon color a very kind of subtle pink if you like um, but certainly not overpowering I actually think this works really well for both males and females alike and it's certainly a very popular color choice this year as well camera bumps on modern smartphones are certainly getting bigger because if you lay this flat on the table you're going to get quite a lot of wiggle there at the top. So this year on the Note 20 Ultra series we have this combination of metal and glass. The back is a glass uh, panel and then the color on the Mystic Bronze is complemented around the sides which is this metallic finish. So you'll notice that you've also got the similar color although it's glossy uh, down at the bottom at the top but also on the sides over here. Now you have a power button which doubles up as a Bixby button. You have the volume rocker on the right hand side. The left hand side is completely flush. Down at the bottom you have the S Pen. On the left hand side you have the speaker grill, you have the USB charging port and a microphone. Right at the top you have the SIM uh, tray and also uh, another microphone. You also notice around the camera module as well uh, well, I'll talk more about the camera in a moment, but you've also got sort of hints of the Mystic Bronze around there as well. And there's a slight Mystic Bronze sheen to that camera module as well. Once you power on the device, you'll notice on the front that beautiful 6.9 inch Quad HD Plus 120 hertz adaptive display. Now what's interesting is that you have slight curvature on the side. It's not as curved as some of the other smartphones on the market, but at this sort of size is actually quite a, just the right amount of curve to feel comfortable in the hand. Now what is also interesting is this has the 120 hertz adaptive display. This means that in the settings you can opt to go with either 60 hertz to help preserve battery life or take advantage of that display fully with the 120 hertz adaptive capabilities. Another thing to note, which is a little difficult to tell with this uh, wallpaper, you also have a punch hole design which is centered at the top as well. Now this display is typically Samsung quality in terms of, you know, it's great when it comes to vibrancy, color accuracy, and it's just an all round awesome display for viewing content. So as far as biometrics are concerned, we have a fingerprint scanner within the display itself. Now I've set mine up and it's kind of a bit of a hit and miss 
Um, it still can kind of be improved a little in terms of delay, but if that doesn't work so well, you always have the face um, unlock or face recognition as well, and that works pretty more reliably than the fingerprint scanner for me so far. But let's uh, stay tuned and, and see how that performs in my full review once I've used it more. So as far as specs are concerned, this comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM. It's available in 512 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 storage. Now, when it comes to the chipset, in this part of the world, in the UAE, we're likely going to get the Exynos 990 chipset. In other markets, the Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset is available. So depending on how you feel about that, I mean, both of the chipsets should help this device be a performance beast, but it really depends on how you feel about Exynos versus Snapdragon. Battery on this should be interesting. A whopping 4,500 milliamp hour battery is available and it comes complete with either fast charging, super fast charging or fast wireless charging as well. So, I mean, this is going to, you know, as far as your battery needs are concerned, this is going to be pretty good and it's definitely worth testing that out. So I'll share with you how I get on with the battery in my final review. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you're notified when that full review goes live. Now another hardware update comes in the shape of the S Pen. So there have been some improvements to the S Pen. One of the big improvements is when it comes to the latency. So there's less of a delay when you're actually using this on screen. Again, worth testing that out. But in my first impressions, it seems to perform pretty well. As far as air gestures is concerned, we're getting a bunch of different gestures that are not only going to be app specific now, they're actually going to be UI specific. So that gives more of a functionality and use of the S Pen across uh, the uh, One UI uh, software. So the camera setup is interesting. We get a triple camera made up of a 12 megapixel ultra wide and then 108 megapixel wide, which is the main sensor. And then the third one is a 12 megapixel telephoto. There is also an addition of a laser for the autofocus. We should get overall better shots. I think the laser autofocus will help with the overall image quality and that's certainly something that I'm going to test out in my full review. The other interesting thing is the zoom capability. We get 50x space zoom so no longer uh, the maximum 100x with what we found with the Samsung uh, Galaxy uh, S series, the S20 Ultra and that again is going to be interesting because we really want good quality zoom that has and produces better overall image quality and that's again something that I'm going to be looking for in my full review. All in all, I mean, from a spec perspective, it's quite interesting to see what Samsung have done with this year's Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I certainly think between the Note 20 and the 20 Ultra, there is more of a spec bump up, if you like, with this model. Um, this is a quick unboxing and first look at the device. I'd love to know what kind of things you'd like me to cover in my full review. So take this opportunity to leave your comments in the comment section down below. Plus, if you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this when they go live, including my full detailed review. That's it from me for now. I'm M. Kwan with the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Till next time, peace and blessings.